This video shows you how to provide more information about the transactions that were entered in Section 2 of Debonair. When you've logged on to Debonair, go to Bank Transactions by clicking here. If you have more than one bank account, choose the one that you want to explain transactions for. Then click on either Section 3 for Bank Receipts or Section 4 for Bank Payments. Whether you're explaining receipts or payments, the method to use is the same. In these sections you provide greater details about your transactions that's necessary to fully explain them and to treat them correctly in your bookkeeping. In this video we will use receipts to explain just what you need to do. Choose the month that you wish to deal with here. You will find unexplained transactions over on the left hand side and when they've been explained they move to the right hand side. First click here to select a transaction. Then enter the date here. You only need to enter the day number as the program already knows the month of the transactions that you are dealing with. Here, enter the name of the person that you receive the money from and a description of why you have received it. Then enter here the account code for the transaction. Think of an account code like a box in which you are going to accumulate like transactions. If you are VAT registered, then you have to enter the appropriate VAT code for the transaction here. You should be able to ascertain the code from the supporting invoice. Also, if you click on the question mark here, it will show you a list of typical VAT codes that apply to different types of supplies. Instead of posting the net amount here, you'll find it easier if you then enter the VAT amount here. The program then will then calculate the net amount and put it here automatically. Take care when entering the VAT amount as it's not the amount that you have paid or received multiplied by say 20%. For a 20% VAT rate, you divide the gross amount by 6 to get the VAT amount. When all the information fields have been completed, click on Post. The posted transaction then moves from the unexplained section on the left to the explained section on the right. You then repeat this process until all the transactions have moved to the explained section on the right. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notifications when new videos are uploaded to help you. Bye for now.